Walt Disney World Inside Out. This isn't just a special, it's a whole ass TV series. A TV series that's just straight up a bunch of commercials for the new stuff at Disney World. Okay, sure, it's crass, but at the time, for a lot of kids who couldn't go to the parks regularly, this show was how they lived vicariously. And nowadays, it's a fascinating snapshot of the parks in this moment in time. And the state of advertising towards children at this time. And as far as I can tell, this is the piece of Disney Park promotion that really solidified these things' constant use of a wacky, irreverent tone. It feels not only like Disney Channel trying to promote Disney World, but also Disney Channel trying to be Nickelodeon. Yeah, you can really feel the mid-stage Eisner in this. It's hosted by a comedian! Hi, I'm Scott Herring. Comedian, Yachtsman, and game show regular. It's got frantic editing and graphics! Let's go! Two water theme parks. It's got weird games and pranks! You're just gonna have a cup of water. Whoever has the most water in the cup at the end of the ride wins a grand prize. Just spit and rinse, man. We'll have you done with this filling in just a minute. You'll see from our cleverly hidden cameras, this homemade pamphlet, and our hidden microphone popcorn box that Horgy doesn't speak much English. The first person to cross the finish line at the end of the slide wins. And assuming that neither have collapsed, the first father across is the winner for their family. It's got celebrity cameos. Hey, Hulk, how are you? Hello. Hey, hey, Bill Nye, the science guy here. There's Howie Mandel. There's Howie. That's Howie Mandel. Hulk. Everyone say hi, Howie. Hi, Howie. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. We have a couch on the show that goes with me, and I want to know if I could put this up somewhere, slide. Seriously, has it been fumigated? Well, I'm Scott Harriet, host of Walt Disney World Inside Out, so I'm sure that's okay. Right. And I'm Lamb Chop. It's got snarky one-liners. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why is this guy sitting on a boat that looks like Mickey Mouse blew a head gasket? But what if you're the kind of person that gets a kick out of just watching water? Well, first I'd suggest you get a hobby of some sort. Ah, I'm sorry. I ordered bangers and mash. This is obviously uh, sausage and potatoes. And why does Santa have sticks in his hand? Oh, because um, if you're a bad boy, he would um, weep you. A Christmas. Hey, well, that's kind of a cheery holiday tradition. Yeah, Remember the old saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't take it to the prom. We're at Pleasure Island for the grand opening of the hottest new place around. It's a car wash right around. No! What'd you, what'd you buy? Um, we got some cookbooks and some Disney toys and some Mickey wind-ups and some watches and some t-shirts and some cups and some souvenirs and some pictures and some hats. And How's that credit rating doing? <laughs> I haven't felt this small since Lonnie Anderson turned me down. Do you get my point? <laughs> Deadpan delivery of terrible Disney puns? Man, Scott Harriet had my dream job. And yet the snark here feels a little less polished than it would in later Disney specials. I feel like a modern day Disney special would clamp down on some of these non-Disney references getting thrown in here. Yes siree, that's a mighty big fountain. And more liquid than a 7-Eleven Big Gulp. Did you ever soak the hoof in a, like a big bowl of palm olive? Pip-Pip Cheerio, Frosted Flakes, and Fruit Loops. What's your favorite Star Wars movie? Um, the first one, I think, which was called Jaws. And you don't have to dress like the Blues Brothers to get in. Remember the Field of Dreams? Right. Well, they would clear one of those. Wow. Pretty closely. In the shape of a baseball field? Uh, we're still working on it. Okay, that. good. It's take That's a while. good. I'm the cat in the hat. <laughs> May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. And Is this uh, Terminator the musical? I'm talking to former Vice President Dan Quayle. Dan, uh, have you had a good time here at Walt Disney World? Yes, thanks. Do you think Hillary Clinton's doing a good job as president? I think she is. Also today, they probably wouldn't sign off on a scene where Winnie the Pooh is about to be murdered. You think a place like Walt Disney World, where anything can happen and dreams do come true, that a frontiersman extraordinaire like myself would have been able to find something big, grisly, something I could use my pioneer expertise to hunt down, something that But I still think you can draw a direct line from this series to a lot of the Disney promotional works since, for better or worse. Also, it gave us this iconic moment. Oh, hi. I'm Gilbert Gottfried, and I'm wearing a fuzzy pink bathrobe. Come on, let's go solve the mystery. Why did you put anything else from Disney's library on Plus before this when I would pay top dollar for a streaming service that just has that clip? 